The Benefits and Side Effects of Keytruda, a Comprehensive Guide Keytruda, a monoclonal antibody drug, has been gaining traction as a powerful cancer treatment in recent years. Developed by Merck, Keytruda has been approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration FDA, for several types of cancer, including melanoma, non-small cell lung cancer, and Hodgkin lymphoma. It has been hailed as a groundbreaking treatment because of its ability to help induce an immune response against cancer cells. However, as with any drug, there can be both benefits and side effects. This guide aims to provide a comprehensive overview of the benefits and side effects of Keytruda, so that you can make an informed decision on whether or not this treatment is right for you. Overview of Keytruda Keytruda, also known as pembrolizumab, is a type of immunotherapy that can be used as a monotherapy or in combination with other treatments for the treatment of select types of advanced cancers. Its active ingredient is a monoclonal antibody that works by helping the immune system recognize and fight tumor cells. This drug was originally designed as an immunotherapy drug to treat certain types of lung and skin cancers. The drug's ability to elicit an immune response against faulty cells that are causing the disease came as a surprise to researchers. Keytruda was originally approved in October 2014 for the treatment of metastatic melanoma. Since then, it has been expanded to treat many other types of cancer. For example, in 2016, it was approved for the treatment of squamous non-small cell lung cancer. It was then later approved as an adjuvant treatment for select types of cancers, meaning it can be used after surgery to reduce the chance of recurrence. These types of cancers include select cases of head, neck, and kidney cancers. It was also later approved as a maintenance therapy for Hodgkin lymphoma. Benefits of Keytruda There are many benefits of Keytruda, including, potentially life-saving treatment, because it can induce an immune response against faulty cells, Keytruda can be a potentially life-saving treatment for select cancers. Fewer side effects than chemotherapy When compared to chemotherapy, some studies have shown that Keytruda has fewer side effects, particularly when compared to traditional treatments like platinum-based chemotherapy drugs. May be used as a monotherapy, Keytruda has the potential to be used as a monotherapy, meaning it can be used by itself without the assistance of other drugs. No associated risk of infertility, unlike chemotherapy, which can cause infertility and other serious side effects, Keytruda has no risk of infertility, which can be a major benefit for patients. Can be used to treat a wider range of cancers, unlike chemotherapy, Keytruda can be used to treat a wider range of cancers, including certain types of lung, head and neck, bladder, kidney, and liver cancers. Boosted immune response against cancers, in addition to the selective targeting of cancer cells, Keytruda also boosts the immune response against these cells, which can help fight tumor growth and prevent recurrence of the disease. Potential for long-term effects, although more research is needed, some studies suggest that Keytruda can produce long-term effects. This can be particularly helpful for patients since many other treatments lose their effectiveness over time. Side effects of Keytruda Like any treatment, Keytruda does come with some side effects, including anaphylaxis, like all immunotherapy drugs, there is a risk of anaphylaxis, a potentially life-threatening allergic reaction, with Keytruda. A patient should be monitored closely if they experience anaphylaxis while taking this treatment. Nausea and vomiting, patients may experience nausea and vomiting while taking Keytruda. Fatigue, patients may experience fatigue while taking Keytruda. Skin rash, patients may experience a skin rash while taking Keytruda. Diarrhea, patients may experience diarrhea while taking Keytruda. Muscle and joint pain, patients may experience muscle and joint pain while taking Keytruda. Keytruda safety information. Before starting treatment with Keytruda, it is important to understand the safety information related to the treatment. Here are some safety information related to Keytruda. Safety in pregnancy, the safety of Keytruda in pregnancy is unknown. Studies have not been conducted on the effects of Keytruda in pregnant women, so this drug is not recommended for women who are expecting. Safety in children, studies have not been conducted on the effects of Keytruda in children, so this drug is not recommended for children. Safety in people with kidney disease, People with kidney disease are at an increased risk of experiencing adverse effects from this drug. It is recommended that people with kidney disease be monitored closely when taking this treatment. Risk of high blood pressure. Patients with high blood pressure are at an increased risk of experiencing adverse effects from this drug. It is recommended that patients with high blood pressure be monitored closely when taking this treatment. Risk of bleeding. Patients with bleeding disorders are at an increased risk of experiencing adverse effects from this drug. It is recommended that patients with bleeding disorders be monitored closely when taking this treatment. How to manage side effects of Keytruda Managing side effects of Keytruda can be challenging. Here are some tips to help you manage these side effects. 
Anaphylaxis. If you experience anaphylaxis while taking this drug, seek immediate medical attention. Anaphylaxis is a serious allergic reaction that can be life-threatening, so it must always be treated as a medical emergency. Fatigue. If you experience fatigue while taking this drug, try staying hydrated and getting plenty of rest. You may also want to try exercising or participating in a mindfulness or meditation practice. Diarrhea. If you experience diarrhea while taking Keytruda, try eating smaller, more frequent meals, drinking plenty of water and fluids, and exercising regularly. You can also try eating foods with soluble fiber, such as apples, pears, melons, and bananas, or taking a fiber supplement. It is important to drink lots of fluids to stay hydrated while experiencing diarrhea. You can also try changing your diet to see if this helps with diarrhea. Avoid spicy, greasy, and fatty foods, and try to eat plenty of fruits and vegetables. You can also try taking probiotics or eating foods that are high in soluble fiber, such as apples, pears, melons, and bananas. Muscle and Joint Pain if you experience muscle and joint pain while taking Keytruda, try taking a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, NSAID, like ibuprofen to manage your pain. You can also try stretching, resting as much as possible, and engaging in light exercise to help manage your pain. You can also try changes to your diet to help relieve muscle and joint pain. You can try exercising regularly, eating smaller meals throughout the day, drinking plenty of water, and staying hydrated. You can also try eating foods high in calcium and magnesium, such as broccoli and almonds, and foods rich in vitamin C, such as citrus fruits and bell peppers. Keytruda Clinical Trial Results There is currently a clinical trial underway to expand the use of Keytruda beyond select types of cancer. This clinical trial is testing the effectiveness of this drug as a treatment for a type of inflammatory bowel disease called ulcerative colitis. There are also many clinical trial results regarding the effectiveness of Keytruda against certain types of cancers, including advanced melanoma. In a phase 3 clinical trial, researchers found that patients who took Keytruda as first-line therapy survived longer than patients who took chemotherapy as first-line therapy. Squamous non-small cell lung cancer. In a phase 3 clinical trial, researchers found that patients who took Keytruda lived longer than patients who took chemotherapy.